hopefully that's on. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, I promised a video about binaural beats, and here it comes. Uh, not only that, actually, I want to introduce the video that's rendering right now. I, I made up a, a video that actually contains some binaural beats. Uh, watch this first before you watch that. Uh, I'm going to give you some, some important information. So, what's a binaural beat? The notion of a binaural beat is that you um, play one frequency in one ear and one frequency in the other ear. You need to wear headphones for this. And the difference between those two frequencies gets picked up on in your brain. So while they're individually very smooth tones, when you listen to them together, you'll hear a wobble, uh, kind of a frequency. Um, it sounds actually something like this here. I'll, I'll play it here. I don't know if you can pick up on that. I'll just crank it. Okay, it's not particularly exciting, but there it is. So, <clears throat> Because your mind is um, interpreting that rather than just hearing it, it's easier for your, your brain to match that frequency. So your frequency of thought um, matches that point. And that's useful for all sorts of things. You know, when we talk about brainwave frequencies, what we're talking about is um, uh, like when, when people enter a deep meditative state, their frequency will drop. Um, when people go to sleep and have dreams, their their brainwave frequencies hit a certain point. Uh, when people are uh, really excited and uh, and frenetic, their free brainwave frequency goes way up. Uh, when people are overwhelmed and uh, can't cope with anything, their brainwave frequency is way too high. Um, not to say though that any specific mental state is directly causally uh, connected to uh, the brainwave frequency. Now, that's going to get a little confusing, but really what it is is you can adopt a specific frequency in your mind but still not be a Zen master. Um, that's the easiest way to put it. However, having said that, uh, when you listen to a binaural beat recording, as long as your intent is to achieve a specific result, um, that beat will help shift your focus enough to make it a reality. You know, with, with hypnosis, for instance, as long as a person changes their mental state, it doesn't even matter how they change it. As long as it has changed, uh, they can make an internal change, a permanent, lasting change to themselves. Uh, likewise with binaural beats, as long as you have an intent and then go with that shift, something good will happen. Your, your intent will, will happen. So, the recording I'm putting up next is a 45 minute recording, which is much longer than usual. But it's for meditation to work through all of your chakras, one at a time, starting at the root chakra and going all the way to the crown. Uh, you'll hear the distinct difference when one shifts to the next. And all you need to do is focus on each one in turn, matching with the, the sound. And what you will find is that uh, blockages will clear right out and uh, you'll have a, a better focus throughout the day uh, and better health in general. This is sort of a... For, for this first binaural that I'm putting up, which is going to be probably the longest I will ever put up is this first one. Uh, but it's a great all-purpose um, binaural beat and a great all-purpose meditation. And uh, so... All you need to do is get a pair of headphones, sit comfortably, hit play on the recording, uh, close your eyes and focus on each chakra, one after the other, as the recording progresses. Um, and you'll find that uh, a very, very powerful experience will be your award. That's it. Uh, leave a comment and uh, let me know what you think.